Hi, this is Photon EM, and today we're doing a strategy guide walkthrough for Northern Tail 3 level 16. And we are definitely going to upgrade that camp first. There is a ton of ore on the screen and an ore mine just to the right. So even though we have to cross a bridge to get to our workshop, we will have no problem getting enough ore to justify upgrading our camp right away. And we're going to want to build up that. Of course we're going to want to clear to the stumps first and then we're going to want to build up that workshop to level 2 as soon as we can. So I think it's interesting the statue in the middle of the screen, that gargoyle thing. That's actually a statue that you have to repair in Northern Tail 4. And I really don't begrudge them reusing some of the graphics. I mean, I think it's cute. So I made a mistake here. I, in the lower levels, you didn't have to repair the mine before you started mining. So I accidentally used up 5 ore when I needed it to build the workshop. So that don't do not do what I did. I would only have had to wait just a tiny bit more, but this way you lose out on just a little bit of ore, but at the beginning it can make a difference. So now we've got our farm going, and then we're going to want to clear to the third stump with, that has an ore on it over there. This level has some villagers on it, and one of the cute things that you should take advantage of in this game is clicking on those villagers because they are adorable. They have little animations like waving and whatnot when you do that. I am reviewing some other games on my site. I'm doing the full Northern Tales series and also Roads of Rome, and I'll have strategy guides and walkthroughs for both of those. All four Northern Tale and all three Roads of Rome that are available on PC. And then I have game reviews also. Right now there's Island Tale and Chase for Adventure. The first two of the four levels are all going to be reviewed. So check those out if you're interested. Okay, so we got to the stump, and then I am going to build to that gold shaft, and then um, cross the bridge there and get to the last stump, and then the exorcist. And of course I'm going to need a druid to do that. So you can go past the scorpion and the elemental without getting the druid, as you can see that I'm doing right now. I look into it. In the name of the spirits. I know, I know. Okay. Good, we're gonna get some gold coming up in here. So I do like these layered levels where you need to get the druid to get to the exorcist to get to the mechanic. Although I, now that I think about it, you don't need the druid to get to the exorcist. I just need the druid to have enough gold to use the exorcist. So now we're clearing to the last stump and also to the exorcist and of course the builder up there at the top we need him to repair our huts. I know, I know. One thing that does happen if you play all these Northern Tail games. Each game has a different limit on how many resources you can have. So some of them limit you to 20, 25, or in this one it's 30. And um, I definitely often think that 
Oh no, I'm getting close to 25 or 20 or whatever it is. And I have to use my resources and I really don't need to do that yet. I don't think it makes a big difference that I've noticed as far as gameplay. I mean, I don't think that I have made any huge mistakes because of it. But it's definitely something to keep in mind if you're playing these different games. Our bonuses on this level, um, the times 2 resource bonus is great when you have all of your mines built or all of your factories or whatever they are. But it doesn't do you much good in the first part of the game and the build bonus, I did try to use it early on. The axe bonus to give me a faster builders, but I, I mean it doesn't last long enough to really make it that wonderful. So we're gonna go behind the first mechanics door, this one on the lower side, and we have, you know, I'll probably won't wait until it's fully clear before I open the other one, because I've got three guys and there isn't much for them to do on the screen. Right now I just repaired, or I built up the gold shaft to level two, and the reason is because I was getting really high on uh, on ore, but behind this other mechanic store there is a ton of gold, so I don't think it was necessary. But I do think that if you are, it's just the general strategy that you should always use. So if you're seeing that you should monitor your resource bar, and if you're seeing that you're getting a lot of one resource and close to the limit, you should look for a useful way to spend it so that it doesn't go to waste. And now I'm going to do it again. And in this case, I'm so close to the end that it definitely wasn't necessary. I mean, the, I'm getting three ore per turn plus the stump, so I'm going to end up with close to the amount of gold I had before I spent that, since I have to get through the stump and wait for the guy to do building. But it's, it's, you know, it could have turned out the other way. So I'm getting a little bit of extra gold for a little bit less ore than I would have had. And, you know, I guess it's a risk that you can choose to take or not. But again, it's a good habit if you're getting maxed out on ore to look for a useful way to spend it. So I don't feel that bad about it. All right, well, it's our three-star level with plenty of extra time. I hope you enjoyed this strategy guide and look for the other ones on my channel.